We're joined by senior linebacker Miles Burris here on Extra Sports 1360. Miles, you're on with Chris Hello and Ben Higgins. How you doing? Good. How are you guys doing? There he is, the all-conference linebacker for San Diego State, Mr. Miles Burris, joining us. Hey, Miles, uh, your coach, Rocky Long, seems very concerned about this game coming up on Saturday night against Cal Poly. Not quite sure what kind of offense they're going to run. How concerned are you guys that they're going to catch you guys by surprise? Um. You know, the concern's not it's, it's not too great for me because I, I understand that the coaches and Coach Long are going to game plan it very well, and uh, they're going to prepare us for anything that they're going to throw at us. So we're preparing uh, in practice every day for anything they might throw at us and working at the speed that they will. I know you can't say anything, you know, out of school about a coach, but is Coach Long kind of a worrier? Seems like a bit of a worrier to me. No, not to me. He, uh, <laughs> he exists, uh, he, he, he exudes confidence and uh, good, good, and it, and it rubs off on the players. I'm glad. I don't know. To the media, he just seems concerned about a lot of things a lot of the time. So I just wanted to know how he, how he was on the practice field. It's good to know that he exudes confidence with his players. Yes, absolutely. How confident are you heading into this season? I mean, when you get all conference honors as a junior, your preseason all conference as a senior. I think the one thing you got to be careful of is that you make sure and go out there this season, Miles, and say, "Hey, I got to prove myself all over again." Absolutely, that's uh, that's the exact mindset that I am taking to it, and I worked hard all off season, and uh, so did the rest of the team, and we're going to be ready for it. Um, as far as you know, the preseason honors and everything, it's uh, you know, it's an honor to be named that because of what I did last year and whatnot. But I understand that I have to go out and prove myself this year. It's all about what happens at the end of the season, not what people name you before it. Miles, this is your third season now running Rocky Long's defense, and it's pretty unique. Uh, this is not a typical defense, and he said it's going to take a while for guys to get comfortable with this, probably more than a season or two. So now, season number three, how comfortable are you guys doing it? Can you now run his defense in your sleep? <laughs> I don't know about in our sleep, but uh, definitely a lot more confident even than we were last year, and um, that just allows you to do much more as a defense and make changes on the fly because people can understand the grand scheme of things, and uh, that'll just help us when game time comes. Miles Burris is with us, San Diego State's preseason all-conference linebacker, Aztecs Cal Poly, Saturday night kicking it off. Uh, Miles, uh, tell us a little bit about your journey at San Diego State for those who don't know. Uh, I think people see an all-conference player and they just assume you came out of high school with a bunch of accolades and you were all conference just right from the get go. I don't know that everybody realizes you started out on the scout team and you worked your way up just like anybody else had to. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was one of those things that, uh, you know, I got there and I ended up red shirting and, um, you know, it was a humbling experience, but I, I, you know, I didn't take any day for granted and I went out and tried to get better every single day and uh, ended up earning a scout team player of the year for defense. And then, um, you know, on top of that, I went into the next season working really hard and uh, actually didn't end up playing as much as I would have liked to. Um, and then, uh, you know, ended up working a starting role to my sophomore year. And uh, now junior year I was a uh, first-team all-conference player. So it's just uh, it's, uh, went through three head coaches and, and all that stuff. So it was fun. So, yeah, it's it's been, been a humbling experience, but it's been fun at the same time. I was going to say, I mean, I, I don't know that you know, and humbling maybe perhaps because you were you had expectations to start right away, but I think in a lot of ways, Miles, you have to feel very satisfied with what you've accomplished. I mean, starting at the bottom and now going into your senior year at the top. Oh, absolutely, I do. I wouldn't have it. Uh, wouldn't have it any other way. I'm. I'm. I'm I know this is where uh, God wants me to be, and, and everything uh, has taken its course the way it's supposed to. Miles. Uh... As you get ahead and get ready for this this game against Cal Poly, how how are things different, say from the start of last season? Before you guys went nine and four and won the bowl game, how does attitudes change after tasting a little bit of success? Uh, I think the good part of you know tasting a little bit of success is the the fact that we haven't gotten cocky and uh, you know we haven't we haven't thought that we're so good that we won't work hard anymore. We've uh, we've actually been you know working working just as hard or even harder this year. Um, everybody's still very hungry to keep winning because one season doesn't do it for you. It takes multiple years to to uh, be the kind of team that you want to be. Miles, uh, what can you put your finger on in terms of uh, what might have been a turning point for you as a player at San Diego State in terms of you starting to get the confidence to make so many plays behind the line of scrimmage? 20 tackles for losses last year, nine and a half sacks. I know the system has something to do with that. 
But I have to feel that uh, Miles Burris, your talent alone, has something to do with that as well. Confidence, though, is the big deal, isn't it? Yeah, no, it definitely is. It uh, you kind of nailed it. I mean, for me, it was uh, especially from my sophomore to my junior year, and when why I was able to have a breakout season last year was mostly a whole mental thing and, and breaking down barriers mentally in my mind and uh, deciding to go, you know, 100 percent on every single play and, and telling myself I was going to make plays and um, you know being constantly in prayer and, and relying on God for my strength because I know I can't do it on my on my own. It really all was a mental thing and it's. Uh, you know, not something I can always take credit credit for, but it's uh, something that's definitely helped me. Miles, I was watching at the media conference yesterday, sitting there with uh, Ronnie Hillman and Ryan Lindley talking and answering questions, and uh, well spoken. It seems like you feel comfortable up there, but I just had to look. You know, Ryan's kind of got the scraggly look with the hair and the beard. He looks more like kind of a defensive player, and you're you're kind of more the clean cut. You know, you people might think you were the quarterback sitting up there, and Ryan Lindley was the defensive player. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> so Ryan, Ryan, Ryan kind of does his own thing as far as uh, his facial hair and uh, looking like a bum, but I kind of, I kind of say, you know, I, I'm keeping it all business at senior year. You know what I mean? Nice. Yeah. Uh, so right. Ryan's got the hobo look going, and, and uh, yeah. Miles is going to have the clean cut all American. Yeah, look Ryan going. Lindley, you never quite know what he's going to turn up in, but Miles Burris yeah. is going to be sharp and looking ready to roll. Also, a scholar athlete, Miles. Tell us a little bit about how you balance school and how you balance your play on the field because you've gotten the job done in both areas. Yeah, I mean it's uh, it's it's not it's not always been easy. It definitely hasn't, but it's uh, it's definitely been a learning experience, and it's been uh, probably one of the better things of being a student athlete is is just time management and being able to learn how to balance it and to learn that you always have something to do and that you always have uh, responsibilities and deadlines and you have to meet them, and and you know just doing the work is 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 the biggest part of it, and um, I think that's what separates people. All right, Miles, we'll let you go. We appreciate the time. I did want to ask you one last thing because your first college football game that you ever played in was against Cal Poly. I know it was Ryan Lindley's first ever college football game, and you guys lost that game. Uh, how much does this one mean to you to kick off this 2011 season? And honestly, I mean, with a, for lack of a better term, but get a little payback on the Mustangs. I mean, it's, uh, it means a lot, and it's a big game, but uh, it's, it's uh, just like any other game. Every game is, is a huge game, and uh, we're treating it that way, and we're really, really preparing every day as, as, uh, as much as we can to, to get better every single day and outwork our opponents. Miles, best of luck as you try to turn this uh, senior season into something special for you guys. Good luck. Thank you.